The time to announce the winner of the 2022 FearPlus Climate Smart Ambassador is drawing near. But first, we have one last finalist who we want to get to know a bit better, Matthew Morgan. Matthew, tell us a bit about yourself. What do you farm with and how did you get to where you are today? Hi, uh, Deirdre. Um, I've been farming since 2009 um, here on, on Raycliffe Farm. And I farmed, I started farming together with my father from 2009 to 2014. And from 2014, after he passed, I've been farming on my own. Um, I've got a wife and two kids, a boy and a girl, they're six and four. And um, they're also here on the farm. It's, it's a great family life, uh, living on a farm and bringing kids up. Um, yeah, farming's always been a, a huge passion of mine. Uh, we farm with, with sheep and cattle. We, we pride ourselves in the quality of our sheep's wool. Um, sheep is a major part of our farming. And on the cattle side of things, we farm with Hereford cows. Um, we need a, a hardy, woolly anim animal that can um, endure the, the harsh, cold winters that we endure here. Um, and then together with that, we have um, some irrigation on the farm where we run plant pastures. We have a little bit of lucerne, but mostly it's, it's extensive um, high mountain uh, sour felt, um, high rainfall. So we're able to run quite a lot of animals per hectare. And so, yeah, that's basically our, my setup and background of farming in a nutshell. Why is it important to you to implement climate smart farming practices on your farm? Um, I think um, we all know now how, how we need to value climate and what a big role it has to play um, as that is our major contributor with regards to um, farming. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a big um, risk. Uh, we need to know how to deal with when the weather um, changes patterns or um, going for extended periods of droughts or huge periods with, with a lot of rain. So our, our farming practices need to be ecologically sound. Um, we, we need to learn how to conserve our, our natural resources and, and value the biodiversity and ecology within our land. Um, sustainable farming um, has a huge potential for benefiting the environment and preserving the natural resources if, if, if farmed and managed in the correct manner. And um, there, there are many spin-offs of, of farming um, climate smart um, with, with an eye on, on being sustainable and also to a large extent the, the regenerative side of farming. And um, by means of creating and enhancing new habitats for a wider variety of species. Um, yeah, and it, I mean, uh, our well-being is closely linked to the health of the environment. So as long as our environment's healthy, um, we have healthy animals and we should have a better quality of life. So yeah, being aware of those natural resources, uh, of your animals, of your soil health, um, all of that um, is, is fundamental to, to um, farm sustainable, sustainably and uh, to, to um, uh, benefit in, in terms of the future with uh, the changes in climate and, and knowing how to adapt to those changes. A big part of the competition is about sharing information and knowledge, but also the willingness to learn new things and improving yourself when it comes to climate smart farming practices. What would you say is the best way of sharing this type of information with others? And maybe you can elaborate about the people who are mentors in your life and what you learned from them. Yeah, sure. Um, I think that starts at, at ground level. Um, you know, you need to get uh, your, your staff bind to, to the bigger picture, to, to your plans of, of how you want to farm and how you want to um, long term, what your goals are with the farm. Um, and then um, to, to your, your neighbours and um, 
show them your, your passion in, in this uh, um, climate smart farming uh, practice and um, share that with them um, close by first and show them what you're doing and see if it's something that they may be interested in that they could possibly implement and, and then grow it from that and then take it to the wider community maybe to um, farmers association level where you can have uh, information days and invite people around to your farm and, and show them uh, the, the developments and, and, and what one has done um, in order to be more climate smart and uh, uh, able to farm more sustainable um, the ways in which you've implemented those strategies. Um, and then from then on, hopefully, yeah, that will uh, create a, a larger buy-in um, and, and, and more interest um, to a broader network of, of farmers. And um, yeah, with regards to um, mentors, um, I must say my father was, was definitely my, my, my greatest mentor. Um, he taught me a lot about the value of, of farming and um, preserving the natural resources. Um, so he came from a, 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 an era where he got to the farm, where the farm had been through a lot of droughts and a lot of overgrazing. So he had to go through um, many decades of almost um, repairing um, the previous generation's um, practices. And um, yeah, he taught me the value of that and, and promoting good soil health and good ground cover because um, at the end of the day, if you don't have grass on your soil or topsoil, you haven't got much to farm with. So it's, it's preserving all those uh, natural resources and then and, and knowing that the balance between that, um, which, which he made clear to me, which, which I try and strive to um, grow um, in my own farming endeavours. What do you regard as the most important aspect of climate smart farming management? What stands out? Yeah, um, obviously having a good understanding of it is, is vital and, and knowing that um, we are part of the bigger picture and uh, the, the climate is changing. It, it's not what it seems to be. We don't know what it's going to be in 10 years time. We don't know what it's going to be next year. So um, we really need to plan carefully, be very flexible in our planning, be able to implement practices that can adapt to, to however it changes for the good or the bad. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, I, I basically see myself as a custodian of this land. And um, it's my responsibility to, to take care of it and preserve it and add as much value to it as, as possible so that I can then hand it over to the, the next farming generation in a, in a better um, condition uh, standard to what I received it in. So um, it's, it's the awareness of it and trying to take it to your, into your daily work and, 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 and plan forward in that way. There you have it, folks. That was Matthew Morgan, our fourth finalist in the Fear Plus Climate Smart Ambassador Project. Make sure you watch Plus TV on the 5th of August when we announce the first Fear Plus Climate Smart Ambassador.